been busy. You've got some new recruits through the door. Talk to me first of all about Kieran Phillips. What does he bring to your table? Kieran Phillips is someone we identified um, towards the end of the season. Um, watched a lot of games actually regarding Gloucester and um, plays on the shoulder, quick, young and um, someone I think can thrive at the football club. So um, delighted first and foremost, he was the one we were targeting um, straight away and uh, fortunately we got it done. And that's the thing, isn't it? You have to wait till the end of a season before you can do much about uh, interest in a player that's already at a club. But it doesn't stop you taking notice and admiring his qualities, and you've been doing that throughout. Yeah, listen, they were in the playoffs like ourselves, so unlike other clubs, we do things the right way. And we, um, you know, at full respect to Gloucester and, and, and to Steve King, at the end of the season, he was their priority, and their priority was to win the playoffs. Um, Unfortunately for them, fortunately for us, we, we managed to um, to get over the line. So as soon as the season finished, it was the it was the first phone call we made. You bring something a little bit different. I think he brings um, goals. I think he brings energy. Um, it stretches the game, and um, I don't think the level's got to be a problem for him at all. Would you use some of those words to describe Jack Lambert also? Yeah, Jack's probably a little bit more experienced, albeit he's, he's only 24, 25. So um, Jack comes with a, with. Um, a background of performing at the National North level, um, was really interested by a lot of parties um, six months into the season last year and um, had a little niggle which probably affected his season um, but nevertheless he's still a good player in there and he's fully recovered now and fortunately for us we've got him over the line. Yeah, and that's the thing, as well as he has done, he, he spoke almost of a bit of a disappointment of, of what might have been last year because there's another club, Darlington, that went very close. They were and they, they, they fell right off a cliff didn't they and but Jack and and uh, the big lad Beck up top, they were, they were a massive part of their season last year and I think um, when, when Beck left and, and Jack got injured, it was um, they tailed off a little bit. So, listen, it was one of those things, um, Jack will suit the way we play, um, front foot, energy, again, scores plenty of goals for the position he's in and um, a player that, you know, he's, he's, he's got to be a fan's favourite here on for sure. Reese McNally back and, and back for good? Reese, yeah, I thought it was excellent for us last season. Um, and due to the fact of the, the performances of, of the defence and the goalkeeper and, and the midfield in front of them um, towards the end of the year, didn't really get a look in, but that doesn't hide the fact that we, we still really like Reese and he was a massive part of what we did. Again, really young age and just wanted to get a load of games under his belt now. And I think every season he's had a little bit of a, of a niggle here and there, so we've got to try and clear that up. And all of them with a little bit of a point to prove, which I suppose when you're going into a new division where clubs might perhaps look at you as, as one that might struggle or whatever, that's the kind of character you want, isn't it? Yeah, well, they're all telling me they want to be league footballers, so um, prove it then, OK? So prove it prove it to me, prove it to themselves, prove it to everybody else. And like I said, it's a great platform, Kitty Minster, to, to really kick on your career. Hopefully it's with us. Jerry McDonough comes yeah. in and obviously wherever he's been, he's been a, a bit of a handful. That's what you want from him? Listen, Jerry was a player we targeted in January, tried to get him in on loan. Um, eventually, he went to Eastley. We had a really strong end to the season. Jerry's CV, he's not pretty on the eye. He's had a lot of clubs, um, but there's something there that really attracts me to him. And um, we had a lot of conversations over the summer, and we wanted to find his home now. And, you know, he doesn't live too far away, and I know what he can bring to this football club. He's got to bring a, a, a bit of experience for his age, but. And also, um, he's, got, he's got to help our front line. Um, he's got to be a competitive front line now, which I really want because we lacked goals last year. And um, along with himself, Kieran and Jack, I think we can, uh, to add to Ashley, Ethan, Morgs and Kobe, uh, we can really add some firepower to the club. And is that kind of like using your intuition as a manager as well? And that you talk about the fact that his, his record, if you like, what's in black and white is one thing, but sometimes it's about what you think a player's got inside them, isn't it? Yeah, and listen, I've spoke to a lot of people who've played with him, great lad, met him a host of times this summer, and um, he's, he's, he's desperate to do well. He's desperate to do well, and you know, I'm going to give him the platform to do that here. So I know there's a, a really good player in there. He had a really good end to the season. We fought off competition from other clubs, so. Um, you know, he's a, like I said, he's a good age, he's fit, he's healthy, and um, he's got to prove some vital competition for the for the boys up top. Yeah, we talked about players coming in who finished at clubs who've gone quite close last season. At Christian Oxlade Chamberlain, you're not really going to get much closer than, than Kings Lindley. No, no, Christian, I think um, fantastic signing for the club. Um, had a really good year last year. Um, come within touching distance of, of getting automatic. Um, can play right back. Right wing back, centre mid, box to box, great athlete and um, 
yeah, we are delighted to have him on board because of his versatility. Yeah, he's got good kind of uh, pedigree and, and good character, obviously. What kind of about him in terms of bringing him at this stage in his career is important to you? Well, again, he's, he's, he's a young boy. He's, he's 24 and he, he wants to kick on. And you know, I think the step up in, in, in the league that we've made has, has really helped to attract some of these players. Um, but I also want, you know, we're here for the long term and you know, signing players now on, on, on good contract, good good lengthy contracts, which um, gives them the chance to, to prove the point and um, hopefully can be assets in the future as well. As we're looking at very close now to the start of pre-season training where everyone comes back with that first day of school feeling, do you, do you look forward to that as a manager also? I do now, yeah. Listen, I think that the whole playoff and the promotion talk has, 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 has run its course now. You know, I'm just ready for the, for the next challenge and bringing these players in has given me that buzz. Um, working with the players that we wanted to keep from last season as well, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy with what we've got. Um, and it's got to be a tough pre-season, but it's got to be managed and it's got to be sensible. Um, that they've come off a, a big season, some of our lads, but they've had a good break now and ready to hit it hard. Yeah, it's a good point you make about the promotion as well. I mean, you've made memories there that will last a lifetime for all of us, but it's kind of about <coughs> forgetting about it now because it, it's done, isn't it? And it, it's a, it is about that next challenge. You, you can't dine out on it, so just nah, for sure. Listen, everyone at the club will remember it like they did with the FA Cup the year before, but you know, the club really cares. Um, so we're going into a league now which is um, full on, relent relentless, full time, and everything we want of this football club where it, where it deserves to be. So um, we want to be competitive in that league also. And from uh, Droitwich to, to AFC Telford, there's a good blend of your pre-season fixtures as well, lots of different tests in there. Yeah, well, we, we sorted pre-season out really early this year because we found ourselves in a pickle the last couple of years. So um, every game's got its own um, challenges and you know we'll, we'll, we'll be on different surfaces and everything you want from pre-season. As long as everyone comes through healthy and, and safe, that's the main thing for me. Um, we'll start tinkering the team from the start to the end, and I think come come Telford, uh, we'll have a good idea of what we're going with. But it's a long time away now, and I'm just looking forward to, to welcoming welcoming the lads back and um, really, you know, getting to ground with the, with the work we're putting. And not a surprise really that fans again have supported the club with season tickets. The numbers are good, and that must excite. We, we spoke at the beginning of the summer about how we'd love to get this place nearly full but whenever that first game is it's getting closer yeah listen they'll always be in great support always will be um, I think you saw by the three away attendances in the playoffs what this club can do we have to build that momentum which we certainly did last year and it's up to me now to, to build it again so um, listen as a base great season ticket sales we'll, we'll sell more and I think when the fixtures come out that's when uh, it'll start to hit home a little bit